Hey folks, Plus here, welcome back to another Pokemon Masters video, and today we're gonna, a bit of a different video, we're gonna actually discuss, um, something about the game that kinda, I think, would have to start changing our playstyles a bit. So, um, as you guys know, the Synchro Drop Chance, that thing's not happening anymore, right? Um, in the future, although they did say there are going to be more new ways to get individual Synchorps, but at the moment, we're kind of dry, right? Um, we're very limited on Synchorps. Um, we're getting, what, 450 orbs per day from Super Courses, not including Saturdays, right? 450 orbs per day, which is just a, you know, regular... If, if it was back in the day, you know, probably under an hour in terms of grind, right, for that. Um... Which is really unfortunate because, you know, folks generally could get five times that amount per day um, if they actually grind hard, right? Uh, even if you don't, you could at least get three times that, right? Uh, but yeah, it is what it is, and it doesn't seem like it's coming back. Um, so I do think we have to start, you know, thinking about how we actually approach um, using our sync corps, right? So... Uh, it used to be the case that everyone just goes for max grid, max, you know, sync orbs, whatever, 750 to max out a, a, a unit, right? And I do think it's time to change our approach because our sync orbs are limited. So I do believe that, you know, for units, we should just go for whatever the bare minimum that we need for is. Some units, you can't do that, right? For example, Garchomp. Garchomp, you just kind of have to go out. Well, you don't need all these, the free ones, but, you know. In terms of all these, because like if you go say double earthquake into like a, a, or or triple earthquake in sands of time with sandscreen, then you literally have to spend all the energy that you have, right? You don't have any wiggle room for that. Um, like I I guess unless you do that instead, you got like one extra energy remaining, so that saves you some synchros twelve or something. I don't I don't know how that actually converts to, but yeah. Um, it, you just have to kind of sort of, you know, s s uh, save your sync cores. But again, there are some groups that you can't actually do that. Like, for example, say, I think a really, I think a really, really good example is, is actually, um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Superior. Superior is a really, really good, good example. Um, is Superior's full grid good? Yes. Is it necessary? No, it's not necessary, right? It's, it's cool if you get to get Speed and Sun, especially with Ho being a thing now, right? Um, it would be cool to get, uh, let's see, uh, Giga Drain Master Healer. It would be nice to get, um, where is it? Uh, where's, oh, Energy Ball and Roll. But, considering the circumstances now, that uh, we have limited Sync Orbs, I, I, I do think you should just go for the minimum. And, for example... Like, uh, like I said before, Spear is a really good example of this. The minimum over here, just go in, or Giga Drain, whichever. I, I think Energy Ball is slightly more useful. Um, just go in there, get the time to energize, MP refresh, time to energize, MP refresh, and then go cross, right? Get the X special attack, all MP refresh, X special attack, M uh, all MP refresh, and then, yeah, you save 22 energy, which is a decent amount of, of, of Sync Orbs, right? So, however much that is. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe pick up on the ropes. I, I personally don't think it's, like, that big of a deal. It's it's good, but, like, it is also 10 energy. So, like, for example, Superior. You just pick up the bare essentials, and then you move on to the next unit, right? Because a unit with, like, something really essential on their grid is just better than taking up, you know, using orbs on something that's, I mean, not bad, but also not really necessary as well, right? Um, so let's just go, just, let's just go over a few uh, other of these, right? I think another decent example would be Palisan. Palisan, honestly, um, just need Sandstorm, MP Refresh. That's the most important one, right? Sandstorm, MP Refresh, Sand Shelter, and Focus Group plus Flag Bearer, right? Anything else? Sandstorm, is it, is it really nice to have Sandstorm move Gave Refresh? Yes. Is it necessary no, right? Um, maybe if you really need, you know, astonish move gauge refresh, aggravation, right? You could go for that. Is it really nice to have? Yes. Is it necessary? Probably not, right? Because Palatine, the obviously the most 
useful part of its grid is its sandstorm. That's why it's one of the best weather setters in the game. Uh, well, not one of the, it's literally the best weather setter in the well, other than I guess Ho, because Ho is a thing now. Um, but yeah, there's it, uh, you know, there's that would soothing sand be nice to have. Yes, is it necessary? Would you rather spend orbs on soothing sand or say I don't know, no quarter on on Galissapod? No, you probably want to uh. <laughs> Or first aid on Galissa. You probably want to save the orbs for Galissapod, right? Um, some other examples. Dugong. Do you even want to do his Syncret at all? Maybe not. Maybe not, right? Like, what are you... Like, okay, sure. You, like, if you really want to do his Syncret, pick up, like, the Icy Wind nodes. And, like, that's, like, about it, right? But, like, is it really that, you know, impactful? What are you going to even use Dugong for, right? First five stages of the Babila, which can be beaten by like just a solo Helios if you have that or <laughs> something else right no you probably don't need to do him at all you just like leave him here save a bunch of Syncorps don't do Dugong's grid um let's see what else Alexam Alexam you don't need you know would, would it be nice to have Alexam fully gridded yeah um because you could use Alexam as a really really decent striker as well but you know if you're just using Alexam as a support um, let's go down here and just get like the basics. Six cents MP refresh, uh, dire hit critical squad. Um, maybe dire hit all MP refresh, but like it's like not that big of a deal. But I mean, at, like for villa, sure, it's really good to have. And maybe reflect MPR and then reflect, uh, you know, pep rally. And then there's that's basically it. Would it be nice to build a Alexam DPS build, which is actually one of the, honestly one of the better DPS units for Villa? Yeah, but is it necessary? Not really, not really. Uh, let's see some other examples. Charizard, like what do you even need need in this guy's grid? Honestly, right? Um, rejuvenate. That's all. You save forty one energy on this guy's grid. This guy's grid's not you know the greatest, um, unless you like you also want. You know, if you're running it with Ho, then pick up Speeding Sun Solar Flare. Then you save, you know, 16 energy, how, however much that translates into um, uh, orbs, right? So, yeah, stuff like that. Um, let's see, let's see. Galissapod. Galissapod might be one of those um, situations where you have to, like, go all in, right? Because you do need um, the pin missile move gauge refreshes, right? You want all these pin missile power-ups. You probably want vigilance, although I don't think it's like the biggest. Maybe okay, not maybe not vigilance. Um, you 100% need no quarter, right? And then is first aid good to have? Yeah, but is it really worth it? I don't know. Is it worth it? <laughs> right. Um. So yeah, maybe you don't pick all that up. Maybe you just go for the pin missile power ups, move gave you gens, and then no quarter for a pod. Uh, Haxorus. Once Haxorus, you know, once you get that three-star move candy, I would imagine a lot of people will be spending it on Haxorus, right? Um, although I hear a lot of people want to spend it on Lucario instead, which I don't know why people are wanting to spend it on Lucario over Haxorus. Haxorus is just, like, better. <laughs> um, right? Especially for Villa. Haxorus is, like, one of the best units for Villa. Uh, but yeah. Go Outrage. Confusion Boon. Get the, uh, two move gauge refreshes on 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 that right if you have lesser in confusion two if you don't or, or less lesser confusion nine if you don't have lesser confusion nine is hatchers's grid even like worth doing at all is hatchers really worth using if you don't have lesser confusion nine like dragon claw is nice but you know just use kingdra instead right um and also like just the extra nodes these extra dude has a lot of attack nodes are these attack notes good to have? Yes, not necessary, right? Uh, Heliusk. Heliusk has some really different builds. It really depends on what you're going for, right? But generally, you want just Mud Slap, double Mud Slap, Move Gate Refresh, right? And then you're... Was there like a third one? Yeah, yeah, there's there's a third one. No, 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 that's Ramp Up. Wait, wasn't there like a third one? Or is it just two? Anyways, um, oh, it looks like it's just two. But yeah, is all like the others... The other stuff nice, like you know, they're all nice, but you it's not necessary, right? Um Parabolic Charge Master Healer. That 
costs a lot. Better save your sync card for like something else. It's not even like the optimal route. Let me see. I think it is. <laughs> something like that, right? You get the point. Um, for example, let's see Houndoom. Houndoom probably needs all of them, right? Houndoom's a very expensive grid. Houndoom needs all of them. Um, down to Dark Pulse Overpowered. Up here, get Foul Fight, Dirty Fight. And then Dark Pulse Nodes. Dark Pulse Move Gauge Refresh. And then pick up like one more Dark Pulse Node. Yeah, Hound Houndoom, you need basically all your energy spent on it, right? Um, Infernip, you need a lot. Same thing, right? Um, I mean, you don't like have to have it, but like it just makes Inferno so much better in build. But but you could also you know think about okay, is Inferno really worth using if you have Torkoal already gridded out, right? Torkoal is just more, I guess, versatile as a fire striker than Inferno. If you're having Ho, is Inferno really that much worth using? If I read, you know, maybe you don't grid Inferno at all, even though Inferno is really really good, right? But um, for Kingdra, Kingdra, you, uh, Kingdra, I actually don't know. Do you actually need all the nodes here? Draco Meteor, status quo, let's see, 16. But hey, if you, like, grid out Haxorus and you have lesser computer, not in Haxorus, not that big of a deal. Oh, it's up here. Paralysis Energy. Oh, wow, we can't even get all that. Um, maybe take out two of those. Anyways, yeah, so... It is what it is. Some of these, <laughs> some of these just, you know, you still have to go all in for it if you want to uh, take most of them. This one, Ridicure. Um, depending on, like, th th there's a lot, of, a lot of different Grimsley builds, so I'm not going to go, like, super in detail about it. Uh, where, Where's the, oh, they're on the run, right? Generally, people want to do that as well. Uh, maybe if, you, if you're conserving MP, if, you, if you're not, then, you know, you go for... Uh, the, where's the move gauge, or, or not move gauge, MP refresh on, oh, there, all or nothing, right, something like that instead, uh, but yeah, in general, you just get your essentials from this, catalytic cure, right, um, MP refresh, obviously, wow, that, that actually leaves you with not too much, actually, <laughs> damn, um, yeah, so, uh, Lucario, Lucario, um, if you have Gallade, then you don't really have to spend on Lucario, but, uh, if you don't have Gallade, then just go spend on Lucario, right? Um, the Close Combat Status Quo, that's a must, right? Um, that's a must. These, cl the Close Combat Nodes, I wouldn't say is a must, but would be really nice to have. Would all this other stuff be nice to have? Yes. Scanning through Berserker. These are all nice. Fierce Entry, especially for Villa, right? Fierce Entry would be great. Um, maybe a Dar Hit, MP Refresh. But like everything else is just not like necessary. Um, we want a Mask Rain. Mask Rain. Mask Rain, ugh, you need First Aid. That's kind of expensive. What if we Struggle Bug Move Gauge Refresh? I mean, yeah, you kind of do need to use like a lot of struggle bugs if you're actually trying to use mass green right so i guess you have to pick that up um let's see uh infestation you don't really need move gauge refresh i don't think so you could save on the infestation nodes there um station your target you're probably like you you just don't use mass green for do, doing damage is it it's not bad for doing damage but again it's just it's just too much um it's it's just too much to, to spend there, right? Um, let's see. Oh, we don't have first aid unlocked yet, right? No, just whenever first aid comes out. So I guess at the moment, masquerading, you just really don't need that many um, uh, nodes taken out. I guess just struggle bug, move gauge refresh, and then you're good. <laughs> he saves forty nine energy and how many you know orbs you cor you, know, you correspond to that maybe pick a next speed MP refresh, which again is not the biggest deal in the world. One of these or whatever. Um, well, you definitely want to pick up these too, maybe. Uh, let's see, Meowstic. Meowstic, you know, if you already have Masquerine Max out, do you even want to do Meowstic at all? Probably not. If you have Meowstic, you know, or, you know, not, not Max out, just, you know, gridded, then you probably don't need to do Masquerine. Same thing, right? Um, Metagross. Uh, Metagross, obviously, want recuperation. 
maybe bullet punch eagle eye maybe not honestly even um the iron head stuff right well that would cost a lot actually <laughs> that costs maybe not you know bullet punch eagle eye then maybe since you know it, it like it, it's good outside of villa but like just with villa it's just not you know it's not that useful honestly um maybe i want to pick up pgi mp refresh instead or something like that anyways uh moving on mew mew, mew you definitely have to like fill out the whole grid right because mew just has too many you know different builds to work on you know a lot of really helpful uh nodes and all that stuff right um let's see where's uh there's natural remedy go down here um shifty striker agile entry yeah you definitely need all the nodes from you right um and you is just so important uh milotic milotic kind of need all the nodes as well just because milotic just has so much things right healthy healing um all right, uh, shielded squad, stuff like that. Go up there for first aid, take out something else. I don't know, depending on what you want to do. Um, Palestine already went over. Pikachu, <sighs> Pikachu, Pikachu is a tough one. I really don't know if you want to go max because, like, this is the basics. But, like, in these times, maybe you just can't go for move gauge refresh and, and hostile environment again, just to save on orbs, right? are these really good nodes to pick up they're very very good but they're just not necessary honestly like okay maybe you pick up a move gauge refresh but not to pick up hostile environment right because you just again you just mainly need these i guess four nodes these are the essentials i guess well this one as well since you need this to activate all these um uh, but yeah those and maybe just give up on hostile environment for the most part right raichu just don't do his grid <laughs> at all uh, Reuniclus, Reuniclus, you kind of have to go in for a lot of these, you know, stuff, right? Um, move gauge boost, all that, move gauge, whatever thing, refresh, revenge boost, uh, all that, healthy healing, right? Maybe Catalyst Cure, I don't know, not sure about that one. Empower, MGR, right, stuff like that. Reuniclus, you have to go for the full... Um, build oh Rotom's another good example. Rotom you really don't need much. Um Breathtake MP refresh, Ridicure, and maybe Agile Ange. Agile Ange isn't like it's not even like, you know, necessary because you, you just raise your base defense naturally, it's just minus one from the start. You'll eventually get it. It's just at the start you get minus one. Yeah, Rotom's another really good example. You just do not need anything. Oh I guess well X Special Attack MPR would be also nice to have as well. But yeah, aside from that, you know, that there's you don't really need much. Salzile. Um, do we even need to grid Salzile? Again, I think Salzile is criminally underrated, by the way. Um, you got like fifty percent chance to uh poison and like fifth uh, around like fifty percent chance to like flinch as well. It's really good, but it's also not necessary, right? If you got Crobat, you could just use Crobat for poison, right? Crobat's definitely worse, right? Um, but it doesn't need a grid, not that big of a deal. Superior we went over, Silk's not out yet. Um, stuff like Swana. Well, Swana's also not out yet, but you know, Swana's more important, I guess. Potion MP refresh, double master he master healers, and that's about it. Maybe you want to go up for Gus. But again, these are not these are not essentials. These are not essentials. Um Torkoal. Torkoal needs a lot. Torkoal you probably wanna, you know, max this thing out. Just because like if you go down here all the way. All these ember nodes, right? These do cost quite a bit. Um, let's see, ember. You want probably want the uh, MGR there. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, maybe taught to handle MP refresh. Ember, uh, 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 ember power ups, all that stuff. Torkoal, you probably need the full grid. Vileplume. I, I would put it in, in you know in sort of the same category as as Meowstic, although Bobloom does have more uses now that like Ho is a thing, right? Especially, you know, healing sun. You can do that with, with Ho, right? Um, but yeah, you really don't need like Bobloom's uh full uh full full grid anymore, definitely. Especially again, um Meowstic is is you know, if it, uh, unless you already you gridded Bobloom before Meowstic, right? But uh yeah. 
it's the circumstances we're in and we just can't do much about it <laughs> right anyways uh yeah that that's what i just want to talk about today just about the sync grids um how we should probably save on our sync orbs from now on not go for max grids on like everyone and just a few you know i guess suggestions on some of the essentials on each grid right so anyways uh that's me for this one hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh, like if you've enjoyed this video so our channel for some more Pokemon Masters content i'll see you guys in the next one